Police in Jacksonville are still trying to figure out what caused a gunman to start shooting at a video game tournament. Here's what we know at this hour. Two people, Elijah Clayton and Taylor Robertson, died in yesterday's attack. Police tell us the shooter, 24-year-old David Katz, killed himself. Eleven others were injured. Police say they have searched the suspect's car and his Jacksonville hotel room. The Jacksonville shooting is hitting home right here in the Tampa Bay area, too. One of the gamers who was shot, Tim Anselimo, is from Tampa. News Channel East Jana Jones is joining us live tonight in Jacksonville. She's at the UF Health, where she just spoke to the victim's mother. And, Jana, what did she have to say? Well, good evening to you, Keith. She was very emotional. She said yesterday she got the worst call of her life, and now she doesn't know if her son will ever be the same. It took me three hours to get here and with no information other than what the news was saying that there was already two fatalities and not knowing if it was my son was intense. 26-year-old Timothy Anselimo is known in the gaming world as O'Leary. He went to Hillsborough Community College and now is a gaming professional. Anselimo's half-brother was watching him live yesterday when the first shots rang out. And he's called Tim. He called my son the first time Tim didn't answer. He called him a second time, Tim answered, and he told him, Tim, I heard something that sounded like shots, and my son told him, I was shot, so my mother, I love her, and the phone went dead, and that's the call I got. Absolute horror for mother Suhail Lopez, but nothing in comparison to what she says her son went through. So he tried to go out a back door. Him and his friend, which was not shot, um, went to the back door. My son was shot twice. He fell. He had to jump over the fence, and when he got up to leave, that's when he got shot the third time. Anselimo was shot twice in his primary gaming hand and doesn't know if he'll be able to play again. He's very stressed. He's upset. He's depressed. He's sad. He's hurt. He just he, he just said before he went into surgery, he, he couldn't believe this happened to him. O'Leary said once he gets back to Tampa and he's feeling better, he does want to share his story. So when he shares that with us, we'll be sure to pass it along to you. I'm live in Jacksonville tonight. Jana Jones, News Channel 8.